today's the day that I'm going to get the things done that I've been procrastinating on. Not because I want to, but because I have to. It's obviously freezing outside. So there's a few things. It's mostly all electrical things. I've been putting off procrastinating because it's things I'm not looking forward to doing. They're not super like intricate. They're just time consuming and electrical is not like the most fun thing for me. So first things first, this is, I don't know the right name, but it's pretty much like a battery temp switch for my DC to DC charger. So it's freezing outside and you don't want to charge your lithium batteries when it's below freezing. So I have a temperature switch for my solar that won't allow them to charge when it's freezing. While I still need to do the same thing for my alternator charger, so my bus is running, my alternator is charging my battery through the DC to DC charger, so I need to install one of these. Um, I'm going to set it to like 36 degrees, so it will keep my batteries safe. Um, I don't have any heat yet. I have not installed my diesel heater, and I need to have heat in here today when I'm working. So this has had to hap this has to happen so I can run my bus. Also, I need to take my bus to someone's house today, so this has to get done. Um, it seems pretty straightforward, but we'll see. Always asking for stewards electrical help. <laughs> this is just a case that it came with. You could get it with or without, but it was like 50 cents more to get this. Not really sure why they packaged it this way, but... So I don't actually have the correct tools for this, but I've done this a lot of times this way and I just make it work. Let me show you what I have going on. I think it's working. Um, just now that I have the bus running, it's warming it up in here, so it's a little defeating the purpose. But this is, and let me preface that all my wares are not really hooked up. That's my goal today is to clean this all up and to get it organized, so don't be shocked. <laughs> so this is my DC to DC charger. This, these two wires run into the temp thermostat so this thing right here is what is ch checking the temp so when i touch it like watch i'm touching it and it's warming up which is the opposite of what i want it to be doing so this light is on saying that it's charging my or it's connected to my dc it's working and when this hits 2.2 which is like 35 36 degrees fahrenheit because this is celsius the light will go off and it should stop charging so Obviously, I'm getting it warm by messing with it, so I'm going to let it cool off and see if it works. So I have an ice cube on it, and it's charging, and it turns, when it gets below, it turns off. So, it is working. Yay! Okay, my finger's a little cold after that. In case that was confusing, I'll try to explain it a little bit more. So, if I'm understanding this correctly, it is working. So... When it drops below 2.2 degrees Celsius, which is like 35, 36 degrees Fahrenheit, it'll shut off and it will not allow my alternator for my bus to charge my batteries. But when it's above that, it's working. And I'm looking at that on my app and my app is what's telling me. So 
One mission accomplished! Yay! I'm so glad! I actually didn't even hear back from Stuart because it's so early where they're at. They're probably still sleeping. It's like really early in the morning. So I tried doing a bunch of like YouTube searches and Google and honestly nothing really helped. I found out how to do it for like a fridge. So I just used my brain and guesstimated and was hoping that my guess was working and it did. So on to the next thing which I don't know what it is right now but I'm guessing it's going to be getting my light switches hooked up. I know it's dark but I chose to do a dimmer switch and I'm going to I'm going to be placing it right there. I actually read the directions this time, so first time for everything. <laughs> I'm not a direction reader. The lights are now working, which is so nice, and they're on a dimmer. The dimmer though does take a long time to get low, I'm not really sure, I don't, it's not that big of a deal, but it is strange. Um, I think it's just the dimmer switch itself. The issue I ran into is my wall was too thick to, it would just, I don't know, it, the wall was too thick so I had to make this little square. But now I'm just trying to decide if I want to leave the wood as is or if I want to paint it. Um, I'm not really sure yet. I don't really like the look of it just being plywood. If I had like a perfect way to cut it into a circle, I would. Um, I think I'm going to paint it, which I have to take it inside and I'll have to do that tonight. But um, this is exciting to have some lights. I've never had lights on a dimmer switch. I've, I've always just had battery operated lights or 120 volts, so. All right, I got both lights wired and I'm really excited about it. I've never had this much of like bright lights in here. I just, the only thing is now I need to place this up here I'm just not sure exactly like how I want it to go yet so okay. Somebody came to join. Sit down. Hi, handsome. Hi, handsome. You gonna help me? You gonna help me? Yeah. We had a rough day at the vet yesterday, but we're not gonna talk about it right now. We'll talk about it later. Yeah. You wanna help me? Yeah. So I got zip ties. I got zip ties because I'm gonna clean up all my electrical wires with it. Oh, yes, 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 yes,